Good afternoon. What's up, Drew? Shane, Wesley, what's up, guys? What's up, David? Thank you for the good luck, everybody. Not enough hours in today. Just got back a little bit ago from getting a new book for tomorrow night. Getting our prescriptions filled so we have enough meds for the trip. Uh, got to get my hair cut tonight, my head shaved. Still got packing to do. Still got a few things to get washed and cleaned for Saturday. And uh, I'm tired. Nate, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the good luck. I'm not even 100% sure that I'll have any chance whatsoever to play the weekend if I make it, but. I might as well come over and do that. I got nothing but time. <laughs> we are going to get into this because we are stupid late getting started. Where did we start? Twelve. Eric B, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the good luck. Um, we go to Coco, Melbourne area to get loaded up onto the start of it. And then we're going to Costa Maya, Cozumel, and somewhere else. It's a Mexico cruise. Shit, just get Darby out there. Darby will jump around enough and move some of the snow. Darby loves the snow. Thank you, I appreciate it. We will. The only downfall is we're not taking as much with us as we were thinking and hoping we would be able to have take with us. It's, it's like every bill under the flipping sun came out twice this month or something. I don't know what happened, but we'll still have fun. We're not drinkers anyways, so the drinking part of it we're not too worried with. Um, we do however like to have our energy drink in the morning and from the way I've read it online you can take up to 12 each one uh, 12 ounce cans but um, our energy drinks are 16 so we can't get a hold of anybody to see if they'll allow us to take them and the only other thing that we actually would drink that is not our energy drink would be uh, Red Bulls and to get enough Red Bulls for it would be insane expensive so we're just we're just gonna wing it while we're out there Dan Lenny Black what's up guys Ooh. we'll still have our fun out there Guaranteed. And again, we'll try to do as much as we can with as far as going live and and showing the boat. We'll go different levels and show it. There's a roller coaster and a pool and all kind of stuff up top. And I love roller coasters. I ain't getting on a roller coaster in the water. No. No, not this time. Snorkeling and Cozumel on a party boat.
What's up, Adam? <clears throat> Eight inches of snow already, and it's supposed to snow all day. Not here. Nope, I don't think it'll ever snow here again. If it does, then hell froze over. Now, so everybody knows for right now, I'm just playing today's round. If it makes it, it makes it. If it don't, it don't. And even if it does, I'm probably not going to play it on the weekend <clears throat> because we're leaving Saturday for our cruise and as the country song says, I've got better things to do. Yep, it is 1.48 in the afternoon in Orlando, 81 degrees, and you got to have your AC on while you're driving around. Nice, Nate. That's just around the corner from both of us. About 20, 25 minutes. might send you my sign-on information. <laughs> you know, Playdemic's listening going, oh, I can't believe you just said that. Stoppage. T Nick, what's up, buddy? If you get to meet up with James, tell him I said what's up. We won't be here. What hotel are you staying at over there? I used to work all of them. Nate, are y'all staying in Universal, one of their hotels? You got Aventura. Um, if you like the old style, like Monty Hall, let's make a deal. Um, what the hell is it called there? I can't think of the name. Oh, okay, you'll be staying with some. That's even better, saving money. 
saving money for other things. And they got three other hotels out there that if you uh, stay at the property, they have a free boat ride you can take. Oh, that's going in the sand. I got lucky. Hey, 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 it's excellent dude. What's up, buddy? That's cool. Yep, you show me your Thor hammer first, and I might show you mine. Guinea, what's up? How are you? Thank you. <coughs> I was going to put some little, little paw prints around it, but he said just the logo. If they play anything like they did this last weekend, they're going to. I think they thought they were playing soccer on this last football game. Freaking clowns. They were afraid to use their hands. Well, let's see, your three and six has to play the five and four Broncos, and the Broncos showed up to play. If they show up to play again, you guys might be in trouble too. Denver is not that good this year, but to whoop up on a team like they did, and it'd be the Cowboys, and Cowboys couldn't catch, couldn't run, couldn't kick. We are, are already replaced our kicker. 
but we got a new kicker coming in that should help us a little bit at least one to three points of kick freaking clown I've never seen a kicker so bad in my life Well, we're six and two. We're better than the Eagles. Really? This game sucks. Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. We make it or we don't. I'm not playing the weekend anyways, so... Piss off. Barb Skipper, how are you? Thank you for the good luck. I really still don't know how or why that went to the sand. It wasn't a far enough hit. Don't know. I hate this hole. Not a hundred percent sure what to do. Tailwind is not exactly what you want on this hole. All right, Adam, good luck, brother. I just opened it. I literally have had so much going on today. I've had no time from next to nothing. I had to go get tickets for tomorrow night's group book scratch offs. And then I had to go get our prescriptions filled. So we had our pills for the week because we're going to be gone. And I still got to get my head shaved. I have to do this. <coughs> There's not enough hours in today. Oh, I had to get my nose swabbed by my wife to do our COVID test. And underpowering it was just enough. <clears throat> Gabriel, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the good luck.
<clears throat> Thank you all for the thumbs up. That is appreciated as always. That's kind of nice to know that if you go over that island, you can still reach with no problem. <clears throat> we will not be reaching. Nope, 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 nope. and watch myself let that go early well that didn't go as I thought what are we at like a minus 40 from there Jeez. That shot's filed under piece of shit. <clears throat> oh well, what are you gonna do? We'll set up with this just to see what it looks like. Switch that over. Probably switch back to a Titan. I got the same one. Mainly because I'm still seeing a few people here and there online doing them and they're still not doing bad and everybody is buying them out left and right. They are still high, high demand. So I figured every, all the books are random. That hole sucks. We only got about halfway through that. There's no freaking way. I 
I don't have any special golf balls on this account to help soar a little farther. I have no desire to play this game right now. None. I've been running around too much. I'm just tired. I have no care in the world to be on the game. much going to stick with titans for the rest of it. No reason to do anything stupid. Have any of you played yet? say this now and it's going to switch up on us and everything's going to be headwind but there's a lot of tailwind so far in the expert What's up, Nate? Well, every little bit helps. 
every little bit helps. Points are points. If I make both of these accounts to the weekend, it's top 100. That's all I'll know because I most likely won't turn the game on. Hey, Doris, thank you for coming in to say hi and the thumbs up. That is really appreciated. And having the grandkids all there, I know your hands are full. After today, we'll be back tomorrow evening around 6.30 to 7. <clears throat> we'll do the scratch book. And then we got to get some sleep and get ready for Saturday's cruise event. Talked about all the tailwind and now we get a headwind. <clears throat> so 99% chance what's going to happen is we'll do the book Friday and we will get everybody's yay or nays on the rollover and if everybody is good with it then uh, we'll probably look at maybe doing maybe another book Sunday when we get back. We get back Saturday, but I don't know what time we're going to get back yet. And then we can look at maybe doing a book on Sunday. Y'all saw how much fucking room I had past that shit, and I didn't even make it halfway through that. Fuck off, Playdemic. You're so full of shit. Full of shit. I had plenty of room over all that. Whatever. Yep. I ain't playing nothing with Big Dog. Big Dog's not in my bag. It's not in my vocabulary. I'm playing this with the clubs I have in my bag. If it works, it works. If it don't, fuck it. gets on my last nerve so bad whatever I ain't gonna lie I've come close to not playing this game no more I'm just so fed up with it maybe if I just put it down for two or three weeks and just stop playing it for a little bit, I'll come back and enjoy it better. <clears throat> yeah, but when you push up and you're only pushing up five rings and you got five, six rings of room, there's no reason that should have landed halfway through that. I hit it perfect, full blast no reason in the world that should have came up so short. You figure if I got 10, 11 rings of space and I only got into six rings of overpower, <clears throat> that's plenty to make it. But who am I? I don't know this game. I know it one day. I know it mostly in tour, I think. I don't know it worth a crap in tournament play.
Every, everything is off. Everything is off. <clears throat> What's everybody playing your second shot on this at? Zero minus five plus ten. I think I tried it at ten percent last time. <clears throat> on both accounts and it was too much. I just put my app at minus five. Five percent. I'll try it. I got nothing to lose. see I am through that damn hole. <laughs> and it makes me hit great. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And not even close. Not even freaking close. Even perfect, that would have stopped short like that. I need to take a break from this game. I really do. I need to get off of it before I hate it.
Oh, I won't touch this game. You better believe it. <clears throat> I don't give a damn if it's it's JBTV Bubba Clan Mini. I don't give a shit what it's called. I ain't touching this freaking game while I'm gone. Nope. And it'd be one thing if I was going on something like this with just a bunch of buddies or by myself. I'm going to be on this with my wife. It's our anniversary birthday gift to one another. Yeah, I got better things to do. <coughs> I don't know why I got sticky throat so bad all of a sudden. Surprised my sinuses aren't exploding. She shoved that q-tip up my nose and swirled it around mm -mm -mm. I didn't like that that's not how you want to wake up in the morning and say come over here I'm gonna stick something up your nose put you straight in the mood Gator man, what's up, buddy? 110% agree with that. Just booked my flight to Nebraska for Christmas. Nice, enjoy that. Nope. Not hungry. I am, uh... I have no words for the way I feel about this game right now. That's awesome. Are you going to surprise her in front of the family with a, a knee bend? After all these years and Dale saying he's not, he's not, he's not, and he did. <clears throat> Dale and Jenny getting married. It may never happen. They they might stay engaged forever. Who knows? But he finally asked. I'm only this far away and I'm getting the shakes. I just missed. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Gator Man, $20 super chat. Have fun. Booms and love in the chat for Gator Man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. <clears throat> At least we'll have 20 bucks when we get back because that goes into YouTube Studios and YouTube Studios, which is um, AdSense. AdSense is like the payroll for YouTube and that'll be in there. I don't even know how that works. I got one about three weeks ago they sent me a deposit to my bank. Other than that that's all I've gotten from them so far. So it's like a savings account. So 
So if we go broke, we'll have that as a backup when we get home. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. <clears throat> it's a damn piece of paper that'll get your ass in trouble. Say so. Oh, I've only got I got three. Oh, whatever. This ain't gonna go very well. So Justin's been on vacation all week. He worked Monday and Tuesday, I think. Or maybe it's the end of the week, Thursday and Friday. I don't know when it was. He, he's been on vacation all week and he hates leaving the house. You don't have to go. And he thought one of us was going to leave to go to the store and get him cigarettes or whatever. And nope. She already left, took our COVID test, then to get signed off by the doctor. I already went to the store and got her cigarettes and my dip. We're good. Take your happy ass to the store. <clears throat> I cannot hit perfect. Cannot. Jesus Christ, what is going on with his great shots? <sighs> yes, happy Veterans Day to everybody. Thank you all for your service. This is an omen. Buzzy got Justin to get him that. It's an omen. Look at the winner. Number one. It won't show up because it's green. It'll be invisible. For the most part, number one up top. Number one, one by itself. One by itself. Twenty doll hairs. Twenty dollars on a five dollar ticket. Now I need my magical flashlight again. Right. My button's coming off. The button. The button got uh, loose in there. Yes. That's amazing, isn't it? Let's try something here. Since I cannot seem to hit perfect, we'll try rebooting the game. Wesley's in the service as we speak. His girlfriend's retired, wounded veteran. Our son is in the Navy. My dad served in the Navy. And thank you to each and every one of them. I actually had my mind set in the beginning when I opened up to say that to everybody and I
I can't hit perfect, whatever. It just ain't in it for me today. <laughs> Good game, Mr. Big Bubble Whoop Ass. Your day is done. I'm seriously about to go to which McCollum Marlin Balls. This game can suck an ass. I get mad with this game because I know how to play it. I've got gold manners on three out of five of my accounts, and I've got a couple of them on a couple different accounts, and I got a, I think a second place on a expert, and a couple third places an expert. But if you get me in tour play, I'm a whole different player. I can dunk. I can do all kinds of stupid shit when it comes down to tour play, but I cannot for the life of me ever seem to get on that, golly damn, look at this roll I'm on. And it just frustrates me to no end because I know I can play this freaking game. I just, it's either the live button or it's just tournaments in general. This is around the time that if my wife did not work from home, the whole camera would shake, y'all would get this explosion sound, and I would just go, boom! I know, Dan, it's just, I, I am so frustrated with this. I, I, I know for a fact a week off of this game next week, being on a cruise with my wife is, is gonna help. I'm positive of that. What's up, Russ? Yeah, they're they're not going to be very high scores in this. It, it is a tough course. It's a very long course. What's up, Caleb? It is a tough course. It was even worse with the damn fixed bags. Holy moly. We had like or four to tour six range in golf clubs in those bags. We couldn't hardly make nothing, especially if there was a headwind. We had trouble reaching the hole if there's a par three. Now I'm definitely looking forward to the week off. stick with the Titan balls. I'll get more later. Over a foot of snow. Mm.
the pretzel one. Yeah, that pretzel one's got like this massive delay when it happens. It just like sits there and you're just looking at it. Yeah, at least everyone's safe, Caleb. Items and objects can be replaced. We cannot. And for tornado damage, at least you still got internet, too. <clears throat> Wesley, didn't you get one of those powered up snow blower thingies? percent added a little bit of curl and it was still that far off hmm. Mark, what's up, buddy? 3.45 a.m. there. Yuck. The only reason why I would ever get up at 3.45 in the morning is if I got to pee. Better leave me alone at 3.45. I hate getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And those of you that ain't old enough to have that happen yet, it sucks. Never went to bed. Nope. Nope. Zero. Do I want to get up at three in the morning? Nope. Nope. Obviously, you got a replay. Now from there, that's going to be close to making it over, but I am nervous about too much overpower and missing the rough. Nope, no guardian. I got the sniper on. Did we get the replay we had last time? Nope.
Hmm. At least the landlord does that for your place. I think that was the same replay that we had on the other it was the same damn outcome on that <clears throat> that is the same. Everything was identical. I don't think we got any children in here, Mark. I think we're good. Living somewhere where it snows all the time, that's almost 100% and have to have. If I didn't have one, I wouldn't know for sure what to do. I'd just get my damn lawnmower out and start cutting down the snow. Get a riding lawnmower and just drive through it. Before it gets too thick. We're getting close, T-Bone. Two days, a day and a half away. I hope so. <laughs> I doubt it. It's not a, um, it's not an adult cruise, not unless they have an adult section. But if there's one thing I would promise, my wife won't be participating in that. Nope. I got a jealous bone that starts from the end of my toe and it goes right to about there. That ain't gonna happen. Nope. 
96. I'm going to still call that 10%. Eighty five. This will be my third ever, and my favorite was the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas that it's the best time I've ever had in my life we are going on the Carnival Mardi Gras my mom and dad are in South Carolina now they're going up to see some relatives before it's too late. They're getting way, way, way up there in the age. And my dad had a brother named Gary. I think he was eight when he died. And he died of leukemia. And he's never been able to find out where his brother was buried. And they recently found out and they're going to go up to Alabama and Albany, I think it was. Is that where she said? Oh, Mobile. Somewhere in Mobile, there, his brother's buried up there and they finally found out where after years of searching and they're gonna be going up there to see his brother's grave. The Mardi Gras is their newest of the ships, biggest, all kind of crazy stuff going on up on the top up there, roller coasters and swimming pools and they have several layers of decks for laying out and stuff. Let me take this shot and I'll see if I can figure out where they were talking about where they're going there. So they're in South Carolina, but they're going to North Carolina and Mobile, Alabama. North Carolina is where a family, we have some family lives up that way. Most of them I've never met. Some of them I have. And they, I don't know city names or nothing I just all I ever know of when I hear them talk about it is they're somewhere around the Blue Ridge Mountain area but I know that's a big 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 area and a big mountain I don't have no clue where they live we don't go there they don't come here all is good I see some of them on Facebook but I've never met them in person some of them I have some of them are nuts. Some of them I've deleted from Facebook because they're nuts.
I have no idea. Probably a hop, skip, and a jump. I'm unfortunately born and raised here in Orlando. If you were to know anything about Orlando or look it up, Orlando here, Winter Park is touching the edge of Winter in Winter Park in Orlando. I was born in Winter Park. My family, my mom and dad, they live in Castleberry. I was raised there. My wife actually, for most of her life, lived in Castleberry, didn't know it. We went to high school together, same years, didn't know it, same school, everything. It is a small, small world. I knew actually a couple of her family members before I ever knew her and was friends with them growing up. Crazy. <clears throat> Orlando's not nothing like it used to be here. It is way overcrowded. It is hot as holy hell here. And it just gets worse, seems to be every year. It gets worse and worse and worse. There's not a man that would knock on my door that I'd be scared of, not one. I was a bouncer for 14 years in my younger life, security, the whole nine yards, I've done, done it, been there, done that kind of thing with bouncing or security and what have you. You put a cockroach in front of me, you win, I quit. to death of a cockroach.
I cannot believe that that just did that. Wow. <laughs> That's when you lose all interest. Make the trees pretty. Make them nice and pretty. Texas Bushman is in the house. What is up, buddy? Another amazing video. If y'all don't know the Texas Bushman, the best Bushman on YouTube, Scare Pranks. My wife and I will be on that in a day and a half. Saturday for seven days. That is our hotel room. Looks like a lot of comments under your video say that their day was down and then all of a sudden this notification popped up. Texas Bushman just posted a video Hot diggity damn, you run to the computer. Alright, so we're going to look at about 55. I'm going to go 5 instead. We are getting there. We are three away from my first 1100. Not kidding, no joke. That is 100% truth. You have exploded with your numbers as well. Congratulations. We are leaving Saturday the 13th until Saturday the 20th. I am taking a week off of this flipping game. I can't wait. They have this with Playdemic and EA Sports is who owns and runs this every week until the end of the year they have a mini a full tournament a mini a full tournament a mini a full tournament normally we would have say a full tournament and then a week off and then another full tournament and they filled in every week with tournaments a week off is going to be a dream but that is not going to make it if it does, it will be a shocker. And we will move to the main event of the evening. It's time! And this will be my third cruise ever. And the first two, possibly the best time I've ever had in my life. I loved it, loved it, loved it, and I'm hoping the boat's only probably 30, maybe 40% of capacity. Is they're being super strict on all the rules and stuff going on there. We just had to do our COVID test today to make sure 
that we're good and we are I'm not wasting golf balls on this one either so I am excited nope none um, I'm not a fan of the excursions for a couple reasons number one if it's something like right there that's one thing um, we may do something on a whim but we don't have anything scheduled or planned because number one we're going for a week on our time I don't want to be on your time so if I schedule something I'm on your time and I gotta be there so we may do something on a whim but my fear is let's say we do a dune buggy we get out there and we're running and we're driving out there in the middle of nowhere and we get mud everywhere whatever it might be and we're just having a blast and then a tire blows out and we can't get back and we're late getting back and that boat leaves well kiss my grits <clears throat> Roy what's up buddy thank you for the good luck We've actually, all three cruises, we've talked about excursions. And I told my wife, I don't want to set up anything. I don't want to plan something. It's just, it's not what I want to do. I want to go do what we want at the time we want to do it. If we have to pay a couple extra dollars, then we pay a couple extra dollars. But I don't want to do it on their time. take swimsuits just in case I have a feeling it may be chilly and if it is unless they have a heated pool which to me is oxymoron it's why the hell would you call the seafood shrimp jumbo shrimp that's just kind of doesn't make sense to me in a heated pool um, it's 30 degrees outside and you're gonna get in hot water and get out in the freezing cold air uh, yeah no Negative. No, we are definitely got a couple plans for the formal dinners. So there will be some odd looking pictures of me and my wife dressed up. That's, it, it's not gonna be a thing for y'all to get used to. That's not gonna be a all the time happening thing. But yep, we uh, I got my jacket and ties and dress shirt, dress pants, all that fun stuff set up and ready to go. So we will be doing formal dinners, uh, one or two of them at least. And definitely gonna be hitting the buffets. Now see, I've done that, but you gotta get out of that hot water and it's freezing cold outside hello pneumonia <laughs> i get sick easy i don't have a good immune system um if y'all i think i've told the story way back before when i started streaming that if y'all know bernie mac the old comedian that died i had the same thing he had and it almost killed me he died from uh severe double pneumonia and he had a um I just had a brain fart. Uh, he had a disease called sarcoidosis. Well, I was sick about 14 years, 15 years ago, and I couldn't get better. And I went to the hospital and they thought my body was full of cancer. And the doctor initially said, there's no cure. 
you're not going to make it from the hospital. This, that's, this is it. And I broke down. I said, what are you talking about? And I called the family and told everybody that the doctor just said I'm on my deathbed. I'm not going to make it out of the hospital. My body's full of cancer. And it was in my lymph nodes and everything. And one thing had led to another. They finally went and did surgery and cut me open in my chest area and went and got a sample. And I had severe double pneumonia and the stuff that the doctor saw originally that he was guessing was sarcoidosis. And it almost killed me, but I'm still here and it's been a long time and there's no cure for it. There's no reason why somebody gets it. It's mostly found in black women. Hello, how much opposite can a white guy from a black woman be? But I got it and I'm still here to talk about it. But uh, ever since all that happened, I have had a horrible immune system. I get sick really easy. And that's why I've been scared with this COVID crap. Because if I get that being diabetic also, it's also a double whammy hitting me like that. So I've been scared to death to do anything much outside. I'm a little nervous about this cruise. I don't know how full it's going to be, but masks are mandatory. <clears throat> but again, I'm still here. The doctor said, well, you need to come in and let us recheck you. Well, recheck me for what? You can't fix it if it's bad. There's no cure. All you can do is tell me I still got it. I don't need you to tell me if I still got it or not. If I still got it, the, they said I, I looked it up, did a lot of research. I did a couple live chats on studies with sarcoidosis. And if it attacks your heart, it'll kill you. If it attacks your eyes, you'll go blind. And a lot of things that a lot of y'all don't know about me because I've never worn as I have glasses. I do wear glasses when I'm driving at night mostly, but I do wear glasses. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. Number one, I'm 51. Number two, I'm diabetic. Number three, I got sarcoidosis and that stuff affected my eyesight a little bit. So I do have glasses, but I only wear them when I'm driving mostly at night looking at everything here perfectly fine if I'm looking at my phone with my glasses on I can't see so I've never put them on in front of nobody other than my people here but these are my glasses so JB does have four eyes but my screen is a little bit blurry because it's too close the computer is pretty clear everything looks pretty nice on the computer but the screen and if I'm looking at my phone and I turn the phone on I gotta lift the glasses up to see the phone because the phone gets blurry looking so there's something none of y'all knew <clears throat> I think at night for me it's the glare of all the lights coming to you the glare of the lights cause my eyes to kind of go a little bit cuckoo and it makes things a little blurry looking so it's uh that's my reasons for wearing them at night all right 94 is 91 Oop, more than that and six But I haven't been hiding that I wear glasses from nobody. It's just the simple fact I don't need them when I'm sitting here. I can see the chat fine. All right, that shot didn't work twice in a row because of the tailwind, so. X nay that. Adrian, what's up, buddy? We're driving and flying. You have a pilot license? Um, I gotta be honest, it's been a long time since I've had my blood done. Right off the top of my head, I can't remember. I wanna think and say, 
think I'm A positive. I hate not knowing that, but I'm not sure. Very cool. I got a buddy of mine that <clears throat> we work together in the chauffeur business. And uh, he actually is a pilot himself. He flies just the single engine planes at the moment, little Cessnas or whatever you call them. All right, brother, look forward to the next video. Pop your link in here. If everybody, if y'all haven't seen the Texas Bushman, he's going to put his link in the chat there. Y'all click that, get over there, and you got to watch it. He'll sit sometimes in his bucket and just go with his hands out. And then other times he'll jump up and stand up out of that uh, bucket that he's sitting in out of the flower pot. And oh my God, you just you can sit and watch the videos over and over and over and over again. If, if you like watching people <laughs> just scream, there you go. What's up, Katie? Thank you for the good luck. Where is it at? It's up top. Point. Single engine ready for land. I guess it takes a while to get upgraded from something like that to the bigger type jets and then up to full size airplanes. No problem, brother. Again, I look forward to your next videos. Always look forward to them. If I miss any next week, I will catch up on them. I go first. What if I didn't want to go first? That went a long way. Hopefully I'm not behind a rock. I'd have to go back and find my records with, we donate blood pretty often. I'd have to go back and see one of the things where I've donated blood to see what it says. I think I'm A positive. I'm not 100%. I have the Spitfire on this one. I got the Spitfire 6. I got the Houdini on my other account. Get off the green. That didn't look like it would reach to the green and we went past it.
excellent dude at 215 posted a new video make excel data entry suck less so anybody and everybody out there that does excel stuff excellent dude is the one for that If they're gonna have greens where the ball stops on it and you can't reach the hole that means they need to upgrade the putter because in real golf no matter where you are you don't even have to be on the green you can reach the hole you just add a little extra to it that is so stupid to have a putter in the game that you can't reach the gosh dang hole with makes no sense I knew that was coming, <clears throat> but they want it to be realistic, so come on, it's just a putter. Add a little extra to the putt. Even if we got to go back and so far pulled back and the needle's doing this fast, at least give us the opportunity to make it there. Not that we're going to make the putt, but if the needle's moving this quick to try to hit perfect, at least we had the shot at it. <clears throat> it's Dave. So we're going to do a bounce over. I'm not attempting the overage because I don't feel like full blasting the shot. That's what it needed last time to get over it. There's just not too many funnels on these par threes. If there are any, there's not many. I wish I still could. I can't no more because of my shoulder. <clears throat> I haven't taken my clubs out. They've been sitting in their garage forever to see if I could actually swing a club. If I could, could if I could, if I could, my wife and I would possibly go over to the whatchamacallit. Whatever the hell that golf place is called. Top golf. This one almost looks like it would have one. Wesley said no. It looks like it would have one from the left side where it curves back down. If you were able to get to that curve and come back down, it looks like it might have a possible chance over there. But All these par threes, as long as I just get on the green, that's all I care. I don't know what the elevations are or adjustments on these, but whatever it is on this one, I ain't nowhere near it. That is correct. I love my Karate Kid movies. 
I've seen all of them and I've seen all of the Cobra Kai. I watched those too fast. <clears throat> Damn. Katie, is this worth it trying to go around the left side with a hook shot or not really? It looks like you can make it if you can get over there. Looks like you might be able to make it over in two. You just got to get on that second land over there past the rough. Don't know. <clears throat> I am going to switch back to the Titan if this does not look good. But we'll see what the wind shows us. bad acting and I'm not gonna lie about it it's horrible horrible acting but it's got all the karate kid people in it it's pretty cool Probably went about five too many rings there. Now we'll see if we can reach or not. If we can't reach, then we helped everybody saying go less rings or don't try this. We're gonna have a hellacious tailwind coming up, I believe. Crosswind. I almost feel like that's going to push us up enough. end up in a rough you ain't got enough push to push you up oh well squid games I don't think I've seen or heard of squid games Bad acting with Chappie and all, but War Games was awesome. I 
or not war games iron eagle and then war games i like that one but it's kind of bad acting Yep, back to the basics. Ah, oh, that's probably why I never heard of it. I'm not a big Netflix watcher. Yep. Don't do that one. Go back to the top and just use plain old regular everyday balls. Got 400 of them. Go. Don't give a crap what it is. Not wasting any more. Eternals. It's another one I haven't heard of. That's a phrase from Top Gun. Has anybody seen the old movies? Now, there's a new one, not new, but newer. The old movie called Left Behind. It had, um, I can see his face. Was that Kirk Cameron?
All right, well, I don't know what to do here. What do you do when you can't damn... Get a ball guide to show right for you. <clears throat> tink, tink, what's up, buddy? So Kirk Cameron was in Left Behind 1 and 2, and then they came out with a new Left Behind, which was not very good. Um, but I didn't think a whole lot about it, and so it was in the movie theater. My wife says, let's go watch the new Left Behind. I said, all right, fine. So we get there. It happened to be on a Sunday that we went, and I wore some just some camo shorts and my t-shirt and my t-shirt's got the fish thingy on there with a hook and all and it says right on it masturbator <laughs> yeah everybody and their mother came straight from church and here we are sitting in that row that everybody walked right in front of oh boy I crossed my arms I'm sitting there going oh my gosh all these church goers and I got masturbator on my shirt oh my gosh yeah, I stayed like this through the whole movie. I knew it was religious type kind of movie, but they made it just crazy, crazy on this new version of it. Everybody and their mother was coming in in their dress, Sunday dress. Oh boy. I picked that right shirt for this one. All right, Barb, enjoy the rest of your day, and good luck when you play your rounds. <clears throat> Follow my lead and don't do what I've been doing. Yeah, I'm about halfway done. You do the same. That's why I said, follow my lead and don't do anything that I'm doing because nothing's working. 
any good action movies. It's bad acting, but I kind of like the, whatchamacallit, the Cobra Kai. It's kind of cool seeing all the guys and girls all grown up, and they're all in the Cobra Kais if you haven't seen that yet. <clears throat> Johnny's not a good guy still. And every time I see Paws and Putt's name, I think of Jaws. Any movie with Jason Stratham in it. I don't know who that is. I might recognize it if I saw the face. Like the new Doom. They just tried to reconnect them. Now they're reconnecting me. Are you kidding me? Get off my computer, Playdemic. connected. Well, here goes this round. Are you freaking kidding me? This is bullshit. Hey, Playdemic, it's live right here, assholes. I got connection. Fuck off. Would I get a scumbag that's got a jailbreaker in his fucking computer and he locked me out? There are scum out there that can do that, just so you know. We need a fuck you button. This is bullshit. And you know these motherfuckers won't do nothing about it. Not a goddamn thing. Oops, oh, sorry. You lost internet. What are we supposed to do about it? So who wants to make bets on if they do anything or not on this hole? They're not going to do a damn thing about it. Sorry. 
we show you are connected, nothing we can do. I didn't even get to take my first shot. Didn't even get to, there, it's gonna reboot itself. I didn't get to take my drive. It had me time out. Said I had no connection. So we gotta go into there. There, hub. I know why, because it comes, yeah, they have, it's frozen. Nope. Ticket sent, they will not do nothing about it. I ain't wasting nothing else but Marlin balls, it ain't worth it. Can't play the weekend anyways.
Motherless Brooklyn. Is that a family show or is that nowhere near a family show? T.Y. What's up, buddy? Good for you. Nothing wrong with that. Ten seven. It's actually pretty nice getting a break from it on occasions. I'm going to get a week's vacation from this game real soon. I look forward to it. Baldwin just got hit with a lawsuit over the accidental shooting. It might have been accidental on somebody's part, but somebody put live rounds in a prop gun. should be a difference between a prop gun and a real gun and there should just be noisemakers not no damn blanks that could possibly shoot a projectile out of the gun <laughs> and if if you're going to use a prop gun why the frick would you use that gun to target practice with that just that to me just didn't make sense when they said that no reason to use a fake gun, a prop gun, as the real deal. We got the same book, the Christmas book, and <clears throat> I was telling Wesley earlier the reason for that is because it's still extremely hard to get, very popular, and when you can find one, there's still winnings happening out there, and one big win's been won, but not in this area. So it's very possible that there still could be a big winner somewhere in the area.
That's why I was telling Wesley also in the beginning too and a couple others that were here with him that there just ain't enough time in this day to day. So much running around I've had to do. It's still got to get my head shaved and get all cleaned up and pretty for the ship. Stick my head out the window and make people think that we got an eclipse happening. My bald head. I'm over it. I'm over it. I wish it would go away. I'm tired of shaving. Why you don't shave it? We do. Mm. Remind me when we go to the cruise to open this and say fuck off to this game. I don't have to look at it for a week. You love this game. I hate this game right now. But you love this game. This uh, is what this is your claim to fame. Meat roulette. I got three cuts of meat. I'm going to put a letter on each one. Y'all going to draw a letter and that's what I'm cooking you. It's an amazing idea. One, two... So you're not playing Saturday, I'm supposing? No. <laughs> you're not going to be good enough. To I don't David care. They're not even going to make it. Is David watching you? He better freaking be in here. I don't know. David, are you still here? My wife said you better still freaking be in here. After all the whining that he did? Jeez. Yeah, I really wish all my hair would fall out. I'm getting some spots up top towards the back area here that are not growing as good which is a plus she asked if you're still here and then she left women Ugh. I really wish all my hair would fall out I do They got 673,000 ways to make your hair grow again. They don't have not one to make it all come out. Put, put this special blah on your head and all your hair will just go away. They don't have it. You walked out and David answered yes. We can hear that. We can hear that. What's up, John Bell? Thank you for the good luck. The good luck went flying out the door about 19 holes ago. I had a freaking hole that timed me out with a no connection, so I got a zero on hole eight. It's just been wonderful. How's Sandy feeling? I am letting it grow. I do keep, I get the back sides sure. here, of here. That sure. grows out, so I do have to keep the sides trimmed up, but I'm letting all this. We heard the farts. I didn't fart. Don't say I farted, I didn't fart. Sure. Sure.
All right, so we'll try there. Nine, three, we're gonna go max, seven, eight. I'm gonna stay over that way. Hit great left. What else could go wrong? Not get up the hill enough. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that, John. Hopefully she gets better soon. Even if we didn't hear him, we'll say we heard him. Now, another thing with my beard that if I just kind of go like this and pinch lightly and pull, almost every damn time I do that, I get a hair come out. If I do that too many times, eventually my chin's going to go bald. But it gets those broken hairs out. I am so tired of the dog barking. It's so flipping annoying anymore. All you do is go in the kitchen, you make a little noise, and he freaking just barks like he's fixing to kill the world. The dog never used to be much of a barker, and he's becoming an obsessive barking dog. AMC's actually got a lot of good older movies on right now, too. They're like doing a marathon of The Rock and a few other Gone in 60 Seconds and stuff like that on AMC. It is a um, Mexican cruise. We're going to 
Costamaya, Cozumel, and one other stop that I'm not aware of. I just know it's going to be seven days of not being here in this house, not being around all nothing. Just me and her, quiet. The only thing that we may do, or I may do, is I might try to go live from the boat a few times and show the boat off a little bit and let everybody see what we're looking at. If I can't do live, then I'll do some video and <clears throat> I'll try to post it later. It don't matter. These names are not going to the weekend, so it don't matter. I'll try to not lower the camera or walk past any mirrors. That's all I'll promise. I don't know what the elevation is for this, but it's obviously not 10 or 15. It's got to be about 25 or 30. We're going to go with 30. With some offset. Keep missing it about five damn rings to the left. It's crazy. That just that hole just makes no sense. No matter what your elevation is, it's not even close from over there. Oh well. I just figured it out. That's why Dale drinks so much when he's playing this game, so he can stay in a good mood. This game will just punch you right in the nuts. They won't answer me until Sunday, and I won't see it anyways. And they're going to say, sorry for your luck.
I guess at four o'clock in the afternoon, there's nobody playing the game. We're getting a lot of replays. They all say that they don't do that. I don't fart. It's too bad there's no sound in chat, it's just typing because every now and then, just depending on the circumstances, I call her bzzz. Did you get a little more lucky on that drive? it is I'm about to call this I don't even feel like finishing this game I'm really not in the mood for it now just not whatsoever so I didn't want to play to begin with I was just gonna let the thing go and now I've wasted all these freaking coins and the different golf balls that I used and I should have just stuck with it and said I didn't really feel like playing it and just not play it because it's not fun it's it's just really not not right now i'm not having no fun with it i don't give a shit if i hole in one a par five there's gonna be no booms for this shit none zero whatsoever nothing Not want to play it sorry guys I'm just in no mood for it all right tank have a good one buddy sorry this is no fun for y'all because it's no fun for me I can't get in a good mood about it because I don't want to play it this is the round sucked as soon as I got started with it only get a disconnect that of course they blame us it ain't our fault it's always it's always our fault but it's not our fault oh you ask to play demic and they'll say it's your fault
I'll write that down. Motherless book, Brooklyn on Netflix. I'll take a gander at it and see what I think about it later too. Probably next week, but I'll take a peek at it. Uh, three to go. Backspin on that driver is insane.
Roll Tide. I guess now she's talking about she's got some meats that she's going to be making and we're going to spin a wheel or something to choose what we're eating the food wise but it's not a food challenge. I don't know. Last one, thank God. And anybody that may be new in here, Russ set it up earlier. If you're having a bad round on it, just relax. The scores aren't gonna be super crazy on this one. For some they will be, because there's just some that are just that stupid good on the game. For the rest of us nobodies, the scores will not be that good, and that's why I'm playing Marlin Balls. 
because I got absolutely nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. And there you go. So from there it will be zero percent. Jeffrey, what's up, buddy? Nothing to see here. I'm thanking God I'm closing this after this hole's over with. It's not been much fun. The fun will start. I don't know what time we leave the dock, but we forward around one o'clock in the afternoon so that's when that's when the fun will start Close that. Then ain't getting used again. Shut that shit off. Shut that stuff off. We're done. <clears throat> Sorry, it was just one of these days. I just was not in the mood to play the game. I didn't want to play it Monday, but I did. And I wasted golf balls. I wasted coins. All that fun stuff that I could have just not spent and just saved them. But I did it. And it's one of those. It is what it is. I don't need those because there's no music playing. Take our putt. We'll be back on tomorrow around somewhere hopefully between 6.30 and 7-ish. Mike MC, what's up, buddy? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We will do our damnedest to have the best time ever out there. This ain't going to ruin my, my fun out there. I promise you that. Thank you, T-Bone. Appreciate it. This game can go straight to hell. I'm done with it. We'll turn that off. Unplug that. Plug me back in. Ooh, we got.
got three chests. Wow. Close that because I'm done. We will be back on tomorrow around 6.30 to 7, I'm hoping. Um, we're going to do the scratch-off book tomorrow night. And then my wife and I are leaving Saturday until the following Saturday for our cruise. And we will be back after that, whatever time we get back on Saturday. And then um, hopefully it's not too late. And I'll be able to get everybody's rollovers sent in and get over to get a new book before Sunday. Or I'll get it Sunday afternoon, whichever case may be. And we'll maybe look at doing the next book Sunday after we get back. That way not everybody's not waiting a whole lot longer for the next book after this one. Um, and we'll discuss also with everybody that's in the group. If you want your money sent to you beforehand or whatever, before we do the next one, that's up to you guys. Um, we can do that or it'll be just sitting in my email PayPal area until we get back to transfer it over. If you want to do the rollover and stuff. And who knows, hopefully maybe we'll get lucky and we'll hit something good tomorrow. This sucked. So, y'all have a great rest of your day. And John, tell Sandy we all pray and hope she feels better soon. I know she's been going through a lot. Hopefully she'll get to feeling better soon. And y'all have a great rest of the day. And we'll see you back tomorrow. And then we're off. See you for, bye for now.